Welcome to Jurassic Park. Do Come on, have that lovely music. Oh, okay, welcome everybody to Jurassic World Evolution Sim. Don't know how you want to play it. Okay, here we are, Jurassic World Evolution gameplay. Not even touched this game yet, so let's see what it's like from the start. Brightness, of course. I always go a little bit too bright on this. Oh, no. So this is Welcome to Jurassic Park. The hey, I know we're going to have to go for a tutorial. Hopefully it's not too long. Hello. And I Hello. May I say welcome? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Yes, well, I have. Correction. Yes, I have heard, heard of you, Malcolm. Of Especially now that you're here. So before you are the, you legendary are the death, islands Jack Goldblum. that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Because diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And uh, you want to be ready before you try that. Oh, that music. I'm Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. Will I? You tell me what to do, mate. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> ah, just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, where am I putting it? Oh, on here. Let's put it there. Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> Because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. I don't want to speak Spanish. I hate Spanish. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Okay. Done. That was simple. Now comes the real test. Incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. The 
machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time and a next. Hit me, Tony. So, Ooh. I just want to see a T-Rex eat him. It begins the most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, Achievement. trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique, and now we. You just manufacture them. So well done, I guess. Okay, I've got one dinosaur out. What's next? The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Entertainment. Hey, I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. Build, I'm in connect, charge of the entertainment empower, division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical. Greatest show. And painfully this is obvious. The greatest show. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Okay. We will do. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding oh. your park. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. The entertainment division is taking notice of your success, as your reputation increases with them, so too does the opportunity to tackle more challenging missions. Oh. Hey, it's Isaac. How you doing? I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. <laughs> Use the all right, to look, I am all about the show. And with these dinosaurs, we have one unlike any other on the planet. Theme parks rely on drawing people in. And what is more attractive than new dinosaurs? Well, me, of course. <laughs> Yeah, no, what I'm saying is, let's get some fresh dinos in the hopper. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction.
Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. The Fossil Center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! Oh, okay. Check that. Put that down. Has Team returning. Okay, cool. Good, 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 good. Then. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Dig team out. Hopefully, everyone is getting more dig team soon. So it's the Sarah, Sarah, stuff, stuff. I, I can't say these names. It's just stupid. That's the one I'm waiting on. Okay. Let's put another one of these babies in there.
One of your dinosaurs has failed to incubate. I never said bringing back dinosaurs uh, was going to be easy. <laughs> dinosaur died. That, that, that's sad. The dinosaurs can die. How are we doing the expedition? Is that ready yet? Time to go away again. That's for a tip, these Ceratops, though. We are. Oh, two of the Cressetti things. Ceratosaurus. Ceratosaurus. I'm going to say it probably about 20 different times by the time I finish this video, but Ceratosaurus. Where's my baby? What's worse, treating these creatures like grist for the mill or propping them up as curiosities. Oh, he's having a little swim. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. I'll give him some food in a bit, maybe. Hopefully, get the Ceratosaurus. Don't look at this as extra work. Look at it as extra money and okay. experience. Oh, I finished that. Did I? Okay. How's it finish? Oh, it's getting close! It's getting close to finishing. Okay, my Ceratosaurus. We're doing the improbable, and you're doing the impossible. Thanks. Oh, he's on the hunt. 
He's on the hunt. Whoa! Here we go. Your rep is off the charts. So you're getting a reward from the entertainment division for your work on this the man and Sarah. He's gonna go look in now. Happy guest is what we strive to maintain here on the islands. We do is he on the hunt for little guy? Sure their needs are met. Little guy, run! In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos, just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> Am I right? Where is little guy? <gasps> is there on a fight? Oh, little guy, sir. And big guy. Okay, so they're just friends. They're just friends at the moment. That's what I like. Gunta. Fast food restaurant. Oh, oh, I didn't like that noise. <gasps> He's gonna fight. He is. He's gonna die. No. And now we reach the inevitable. Life begets death. But here's the question that you gotta ask yourself. Was this avoidable? The answer? Of course not. Death, it's always coming. <gasps> but could you have delayed it? Well, that's maybe another story. We're gonna have to sort of sort something out now. Because I, I can't have them dying constantly. Ooh. Leading to high cytaratop, uh, triceratops stuff. I'm sounding stupid. Do dig to you there. So what was my challenge? Uh, pow construct and power fast food restaurant. Let's put the food stuff over here. When are you going to finish, mate? Can you finish building that, please? I'm trying to... Take a long time, don't you? I don't know where the dead dinosaur's gone. That's very strange. Did they remove it for me? Clove shop. Okay.
Okay. Things are looking good around here, huh? I love what you're doing with the place. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay. Science. You're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Restaurant.
This is a side hustle that we should get behind. Satisfaction is what we aim to give our guests. Make them appreciate the little things. And the big things with the teeth and glassy eyes that could swallow them whole. running at maximum happiness, and our guest numbers are up as a result. That's what makes the entertainment division the envy of the rest. We get the results, am I right? When the parks are running well, our scientific research improves. Of course, I'd never tell this to Isaac directly. Heard it. Mm, I, I was going to add... No. No. No, 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 no. Too late. Heard it. Later, Doc. Ugh. Oh. What can I research? Save money first. People go around the park. I like the way you work. Efficient and on point. As it should be. It reminds me of well me. <laughs> so well done acquiring that genome. I'd thank you, but it would feel like I'm thanking myself. It looks like you've run out of power. That's not good. Build more power stations or increase your output. I've run out of power. Lack of eating places, okay.
Ooh, power outage, don't don't complain. Am I fine now? Let's quickly oh, yellow dot here. Put another one of these. money left out.
Dragon it. How are my park finance doing? Interesting. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct linkage to our modern birds. Do they take meat or? This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. We get a few of these running over the place, that should be perfect. I will say if the Ceratoros comes anywhere near them though, he's dead. You know you wanna do it. Ooh, why are you looking at my wall? Don't go looking at my wall. Turn around. I'm creating an army. What were the little fuckers called? I'm just gonna create an army of these guys.
Don't stay away. Stay away. You don't get to eat them. Oh, he didn't make it. He did it. Part of me wants to release the army of them on the guy to kill their brother earlier. I don't think they do much though. Really. No, it's not back yet. Here it comes. That's a job well done. just upgrade my fences. I'm getting worried about the big guy getting a little too hungry. We've got all this area yet to travel into, which we will.
Do I buy one? No. I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these islands before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Poor variety is one of my complaints at the moment. Okay. Security isn't always clean or easy, but it is always necessary. So look this contract over. It's a dangerous world, and this place makes it more dangerous. This contract can help us with security here. I'm Owen Grady. Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk Where about, but it hasn't dampened right my here. commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. Each new discovery furthers our understanding. It's valuable work. Take it. Where's the Sarah one? Man, you really know how to put on a show. That's what I call star power.
400,000 for a ranger station, okay. Are you plotting a plan to escape? Meet your new friend. Dragon King, the Draco Rex. Sounds so intimidating, but it's just a plant eater. However, just in case they do rule the earth again, don't tell them I said that. You met the objectives and secured a victory. I was expecting no less. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. Edmund Thoris. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. I'm going to need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. Okay, next you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island.
Okay. So we should actually start having proper 